And so when we started uh, looking at um, training people how to broaden their awareness to sense space, when you're sensing space, the act of sensing and feeling causes you to stop analyzing and thinking. And if you're not analyzing and thinking, you start suppressing neocortical activity. Your brainwaves start to slow down. In beta, you know, you're aware that you're a body local in space and time. That's low level beta. Like we're talking right now, we're in low level beta. If I said, Stephen, I'm going to give you a quiz um, and you're going to have to take a quiz in front of your audience and you would kind of perk up a little bit. Your brain would get a little bit more aroused and the light bulb would get a little brighter and you'd move into mid-range beta. That's like when you're going to give a speech or you're, you're at a, a dinner and you don't know people, you're kind of, you kind of be a little bit more aware. So beta is uh, conscious awareness. Now in beta, the, the brain is trying to create meaning between what's going on in the outer world and what's going on in the inner world. And it's processing all the sensory information. So a lot of data. So beta is like conscious and awake. And so there's low level beta, there's mid range beta. It's not on this chart, but high level beta is when you're fearful, when you're anxious, when you're angry, when you're in pain, when you're frustrated, when you're jealous, whatever. Uh, people get switched on in these high levels of beta, and that's when we get over-focused. That's because you're, you're, you're narrowing your focus and you're over-focusing, and that's kind of a brain state.